Sagittarius. What is coming up for the sign of Sagittarius? Uh, sun, moon, rising, Venus in regards to love. Um, Okay, a world of opportunity um, opens itself up to you uh, in the upcoming month in regards to love. A lot of foreign connections or someone who is quite mysterious or different to you in nationality, culture, language, traditional or religious beliefs is coming in around you and might be wanting romance with you. Some of you, again, might be having that steamy affair um, that's very, very enjoyable or, you know, it's just a meeting, um, a uh, romance, um, a romantic trip that could come up. For some of you, it won't go beyond that. For others, there is the notion of finding more stable with this very person. However, of course, every situation is going to be a little bit different. Now, the world card also shows something coming to full completion or full cycle. It's almost like you're reaching a new stage in your connection or your relationship. Now, the world card um, could mean many things. Um, for some of you, it's telling your friends about someone you've met. Um, or introducing them to your friends or family. For others, the world card could represent that you finally make your union public. You put it on social media, you change your relationship status, um, you start calling them boyfriend and girlfriend or husband and wife. It's really moving on to those major milestones, he said. So I think this is positive reinforcement in a lot of relationships. I really do. Um, I feel as though if you're introducing this person to friends or family, they're going to be very impressed and very happy that you're together. There's also a celebration happening here. So I do feel as though if you've been invited invitations to any events um, I would go because this is where a special person could be um, coming into your life ace of pentacles uh, someone that's destined to come in to meet you okay have something romantic have something very pleasurable with you here um, and this could just be your happily ever after Sagittarius you've got the happily ever after card um, this is finally seeing the rainbow finally weathering that storm I do think for a lot of you, if you're rec I say recently, I mean, it could be give and take for a lot of you, but if you've walked away from an unhealthy situation and you're still emotionally dealing with it, Sag, I feel as though you're going to see the rainbow which follows the storm and you can see these clouds, okay, these dark grays, and that's the storm maybe you've weathered, the person you've left behind, the person that, that's, that's dumped you or you've dumped them or you've moved on or you've parted ways. It's either a reconciliation take pla takes place, one that you're going to be very happy with, in fact, almost on cloud nine, or the Ten of Pentacles, uh, sorry, Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles can indicate finally finding someone that you can be stable with, someone that genuinely wants to, not only wants to, but can and will make it happen to give you that permanency, to give you that stability if that is what you're craving, okay? Um, because it's a very strong connection as indicated by the Leo card here, the Strength card. It's undeniably a strong connection and one that can be in your future. Now, some of you are meeting someone you're going to end up having a family with, or there might be talks of um, there might be talks of having a family together, or fertility, merging families. Um, I did mention new additions to the family. Suddenly someone's opened up with, um, someone's welcoming them in with opened arms and a beautiful embrace. And this just could be the threshold that you're crossing um, during this month, especially in relationships. That bond is going to be absolutely solidified here. There could be a few insecurities, however, that pop up in relationships, either yours or someone you're dealing with. Maybe more so an air sign because the Page of Swords does represent Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. However, it can be anyone you're dealing with might showcase behavior where they're feeling uncertain. There's something about uncertainty or lack of confidence. It's more to do lack of confidence. The Page of Swords wants to move forward, wants to proceed with the next step. But for some of you, you might have someone who is still either looking back to their past whether they've been hurt or burnt or traumatized from their past love life or with the Page of Swords, um, they're not yet ready, okay? They want to be strong for you and they want to show you they are capable of it. And I do believe that this, for the most part, this person is capable of giving you that, um, but they're still not ready to make that leap, okay? They're still up in their tower, 
They're still there. They're ready. They're looking out. They're eager. So the want is there. The desire, the intent is there, Sag. But you might need to give them a little bit more time to come around with, with these certain things, okay? I don't know if it's having a child moving in together, um, going on a holiday together. There's something here that might be a bit too fast for this person, a bit too fast-paced. Hence that Knight of Pentacles coming in to reinforce and remind us that this person is complacent where they are. They want to move forward, but they want to do it at a snail's pace. So you might have to be extra patient here with them, Sag. Um, let's move on to your business, career, uh, finance, creative pursuits, anything we can learn in this regard. Okay. Two of Cups has been popping out in most readings. I don't know why, but it's here. And it could definitely symbolize that um, career opportunities could lead you to a twin flame lover, a soulmate union here, absolutely. But it's um, it's also symbolic of a important meeting, a job interview, a collaboration, two parties coming into a binding union or agreement, both with a lot of offerings, resources, or investments, okay? So there could be people wanting to invest um, people wanting to fund your idea, people wanting to work with you creatively. Maybe, um, you know, you're an artist or you're a creator. People wanting to work with you, people reaching out, they're eager to find out more about your work, maybe more about your skills. But I feel like there's people reaching out and you'll be meeting with a lot of people here, okay? More than one meeting potentially, so more than one job interview. If you are going for a job interview, you're going to leave behind a career and you're going to be successful, but they might make you um, two different offers, the Ace of Pentacles, yes, you'll accept one of them, but there's um, distinctively two ones, two cups, um, two cups here. So I'm wondering if there's two different offers or two different roles with the same company that you might be offered or you choosing between two different roles. They could be quite similar. They could be vastly different. Nonetheless, there's an element of choice here. But there's also sadness for leaving something behind. Some of you will be forced to leave a job. Redundancy? Maybe because there's anger here with the Seven of Swords, uh, Wands. Anger, resistance, disbelief, feeling backed up in a corner, feeling like you don't have options, Sag. Some of you might be a redundancy. For some of you, the company might be going bust. It might be warning you. Um, for others, it's just a genuine sadness for moving on to the next chapter of your life. But the time is ripe. The time is ready. You're succeeding with a lot here. The Six of Wands represent conquest, um, prominence taking more control of your career, finding a lot of success and or recognition. And if this is what you're wanting, there's other people or industries that can offer you that because you are seeking perfection. You've got the hermit card here. Some of you might need a little bit more guidance in terms of career or creative pursuits and maybe travel or taking time off, taking a bit of a hiatus might just help you. Uh, some of you might start a venture with a loved one, like a partner, um, a boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, or it might be an autonomous venture because the hermit is autonomous. Uh, so a self-funded idea um, or business, enterprise, money-making opportunity um, that you're going to see through. But the hermit is also something to do with analytics. Now, you might be given more analytical tasks in the workplace. You might be asked to analyze um, or monitor or help form an opinion. You know, it's someone asking for your advice, but they want your opinion on something that's quite in depth. Could be a person's performance, could be um, how the business is performing, could be why things are going a certain way. Um, it's almost like someone might ask you to investigate something because they trust you and they can see that you'll carry the task out um, effectively. So they're placing trust in you. Um, but some of you might be branching out and having more independence or someone isn't trusting you. Like you might be starting to delegate your own tasks or you might be doing things for yourself, creating your own, you know, notes or something. It's independence, but someone is trusting you with that, Sag, or you are trusting someone. Maybe people that work for you, maybe people that work under you, but you are entrusting them with those um with those tasks or abilities. <clears throat> there could also be, excuse me, sorry, there could also be travel opportunities that come up, okay? 
It's either a work contract that comes up overseas in a different city, in a different state. You might be asked to service a new area um, or it's almost like there's a new, um, it's either a new office or a new venue. There's, there's a foreign nature, like you haven't been somewhere, you haven't seen it as yet or maybe it's going to be revealed to you. So that is quite interesting, but I will leave it at that, Sag. Um, I hope this reading has been helpful for you. Love all the best and hopefully we'll stay connected very soon. Thanks again, everyone. Bye for now.